I felt rage inside of me. I felt anger. Hey y'all, I'm back. I just did an Amberlynn Reed react to. Hey guys, I'm back. I just did a Amberlynn Reed react to Tortilla Gate. Um, and I thought I would hop on here for her I'm done and come shopping with me vlog. Um, I think that she is going to prove the haters wrong in this one and show them that she does actually go outside. So I'm here for it. Um, I'm kind of happy that Troll Lynn is coming back and in full force. Um, as she said in her last video, you know, mid troll era. <laughs> I love that she's such a self-aware girly, you know? Um, I did the last one on 1.5 speed. I think I might do this one on 1.25 speed. I think the last one was a little bit fast, but I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than her at normal speed. Not that there's anything wrong with Amber. I don't think she should be getting like a ton of hate. Uh, although I do understand that of her 200 and however many thousand subscribers, like half of those are hate watchers. Um, yeah, so I'm here for it. Um, I think I showed this in my last video, like what I'm looking like right now. I am getting close to two months out and I'm three pounds away from having lost 60 pounds in total. So I will give you guys a quick peek at what I look like. Just, I thought it was nice to note that this skirt actually fit snugly back in January. And now it is like very large. <laughs> so I thought I would show that. I am 220.2 for anyone who is keeping track. And I started back in January at 277.7. Since our girl loves the points, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that follow suit. Um so yeah, I am a few pounds away from being 60 pounds down from my highest weight, start weight, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, all right, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm done and come shopping with me. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I'll try to decide if I wanted to wear my hair just like in a high pony or if I want to wear it in a braid. So I'm actually about to braid it right now. Because I feel like that's probably Why what I'm going to choose to do. So. so, random fact. How I taught myself to braid. <laughs> I taught myself around, I think I was like seven or eight. With a pair of my dad's boots. This was before I was put into foster care. But, no one taught me how to braid. I taught myself with a pair of shoelaces for my dad's boots. Yes, I did. I know it just started, but like. I don't think my mom taught me how to braid or anyone like that. I think kids at school would like braid each other's hair. So like that's how I learned how to braid. Also, I don't even know how you would do it with boots because there's two shoelaces. So how do you braid? Okay. And I remember like I was just like randomly moving them and then finally it just like happened and it clicked and I remember that moment like it was yesterday. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, that looks comfy. Comfy, cozy. What does it say on the back? You tell me. Baby, I don't know what that says. Baby, how am I supposed to read it? It's on my back. <laughs> Good point. She's giving me a... You didn't read... Wait, you didn't read your shirt before you put it on? No, baby. So your shirt could say anything. What if it said something crazy? I feel like it would go with my personality, and it would be a good conversation starter. Girl, Feline bought some- Why not show us? Blur her face yeah, out and show us. Conversation Girl, Feline bought some new clothes, so she's giving me a- a modeling session. I love when she does that. But I just wanted to start my vlog. So, was the pony better or the braid? I don't know. I like the braid because it just stays compacted and doesn't get all- loop de lie if you know what I'm saying. I don't even know what that means. Show Are these us. All mediums? Yeah, baby. Wow, they fit so Show loose. Show us. They look so good, baby. Hey, baby. You're welcome. I oh, know what this one says. What does that one say? Confusion? 
Oh, my God. oh collusion! <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm about to do the mini fish lamp. It's for, like, offices or whatever. I mean, that's what it literally says on the back. So, brings a soothing ambiance to any home or office. So, I really want to fish, but I I'm trying to work on pausing to talk because I've gotten a lot of feedback saying I talk during the video and they can't understand what I'm saying. Did she ever say why she can't have a fish? Is it an apartment complex thing? Can she not take care of the fish? Would her cat eat the fish? Like, I, we're supposed to know why because she says obviously, but like, I don't know why and I need to know why. So <laughs> we're gonna do this. So Feline put the batteries in for me. Now, like mm -hmm. I'm following the instructions and this just seems cuckoo bananas. I have to fill the aquarium to the top with water but there's like this part down here where it looks like if water gets in there, that's no bueno. But I'm, I'm just doing I just saw Feline in so shadow. I'm gonna do so the water she now. said she's gonna fill it okay, up, but so. our girl, Feline, wifey, Jade, whatever, had to fill it up. But we don't get to see her. And she gets no credit. Cold world. I'm just doing what they tell me to do. So I'm gonna do the water now. Okay, so now let's, there's water. The next step, I'm not even joking. It wants me to click on the on button. Oh, hi. But this is the funny part. It wants me to add, it's making a noise. Wait, okay. It wants me to add some dishwashing detergent. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's I think I see why. Oh, the bubbles! Okay, it's coming together. Turn on the power at least 30 seconds before putting the fish into the aquarium. Okay. And then put the fish into the aquarium, obviously. This makes me want to get the jellyfish one. Bloop, Nemo! Bloop, Dory! Bloop, Nemo's dad. <laughs> Wait, this is so cute. Oh my god. And this is for offices. It literally says it on the box. So don't come at me for being a child or child profession. I swear to god, I'm gonna get you. Then it says put the you rubber woke back up on and the top, violence today. obviously. Oh my gosh, I feel like Rarity is going to love this because Rarity jumps on my desk all the time. Oh, One of the reasons why what I, I can't said. get a fish if anyone's wondering. It had to do with the cat. She'll, okay. be, she'll find a way to eat that fish. So I think it comes, even though like there's batteries, this is like to keep it charged. I don't know, that doesn't really make much sense since it's battery. But there it is. This is actually so cute and peaceful. I can't wait to see this at nighttime. But I definitely want to get the, the jellyfish now. Because look at the jellyfish. And I forgot to show you guys, but there's like a black cap that you put on top of it, so... There's our little fishies, since I ha can't have real fishies. Dory's ugly as uh -huh. hell, though. Don't be mean to Dory. Oh my god, my fishes. I got my fishes. Weights and fish. It's an H3 thing. <laughs> so this is where I have it sitting for now. I actually just filmed this clip, and I had it on slow-mo. <laughs> But yeah, um, a subscriber got me this. A subscriber got me this. Feline got me this. Seriously, this is just a Lego I'm working on. That Feline also got me. I'm so loved, but look how cute. Stuff makes you loved? Really? Stamps are genuinely such a weird concept. Did she get a new car? Or have I just been out of it forever? Did she get a new car? Also, Chinky Star. Just so cute. Like, what? Got P.O. Box packages. So disclaimer, I want to make it very well known that this next clip is because sometimes enough is enough. And I think I let this moment get to me more than I normally would have in the past. And I could easily not show this to you guys, but I want to show it to you because I feel like there needs to be some awareness around this. And I want to be able to show you examples of what I'm talking about when I say that I feel like I am fat shamed, where I feel like there's a hate mob around me due to Whoa. my weight, where people about? are rude to me due to my weight, and I want to show examples of that. But I want to let everyone know that in this video, I'm not, or in this clip that I'm about to show, I'm not speaking to everybody watching. Obviously, if you're a supporter and you're kind and you've never said anything hateful to me or sent me anything hateful in the mail um, or anything. I'm going to pause this during her disclaimer moment. I have never said anything hateful to her ever. I don't talk about her weight. I don't talk about how she looks. Nothing. Because to me, that's unimportant. 
I always say it and I always mean it. It's actions and attitude. And a lot of times she hops out here and does a lot of lies, a lot of girl actions, you know what I'm saying? And um, there's just a lot of negativity and a lot of trolling, which she admits to. So I know that there's a lot of people who put pretty rude things in her comment section, but people put rude things in everyone's comment section. I get rude stuff in my comment section. And you just kind of have to understand that everyone has an opinion. Everyone can share their opinion, whether it's a good one or a bad one. And I, you just can't really take it to heart. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think she should. I don't think any of the people out there who get like, well, there's probably exceptions like Chantal. But I still don't agree with them saying stuff about how she looks. But she does enough and does enough problematic things that you could have something to say about those things. The same with Amber. I think it's kind of a low blow to like fat shame her and stuff because it's like she knows she's over, I mean, she's admitted, she, I mean, she's over 500 pounds. Like, there's nothing to say. I don't understand. Like that, then obviously I'm not talking to you guys because you guys, you guys know I love you so much and I'm so grateful for you guys. Like, wait, thoroughly. pause again. Did someone send her something hateful in the mail? Because if she's talking about the toddler scavenger hunt thing, that's kind of funny. I don't know if that's hateful. It's kind of funny and it's a cute way to get her to go outside. So, but maybe she's talking about something else. <gasps> maybe she's talking about this. Like, thank you so much for always being here. Like, you have no idea how much I need that surrounding my youtube i need the kindness and i think mass majority of you guys understand where i'm coming from where it's like sometimes i need to shed a spotlight on the things that matter and right now i think bringing awareness to fat phobia and discrimination and cyberbullying i feel like that is very important because the internet is becoming more popular as we go on, you Whoa. need the internet for everything. And bullying is becoming more extreme. That phobia everything. is becoming more extreme. And I will always be a voice for that. And I know the people who support me understand. So here's the clip. Okay, guys. So I just got home. And sorry if it looks like I've been crying. It's because I have. I wasn't going to open the P.O. Box stuff or anything like that. Okay, is this a disclaimer or a monologue? And why is she hopping on this cyberbullying thing? And... I don't understand. I don't understand the bullying comments. I don't understand the fat phobia. I'm, like, is she trying to now get support from the fat activism groups out there? The body positivity, like militant groups or what? Like what's going on? Um, I like to open everything uh, in order that I received it. So I still have packages that I've received last week. I have quite a few packages, but I don't like to make it like a whole segment. I like it to be like little partial segments, which I thoroughly enjoy. So again, if you want to send me anything, here's my PO box. But I, I think I just need to make like a public announcement. There are a lot of things. I'm going to say a lot. I'm going to say a few. There's been three things that I have received. that. I yeah, it's like she gets presents every day. She loves it. I have not showed on camera um, because it was just like massive fat shaming. And I just didn't want to put light on that. But I do find, you know, some things to be just like, it's clear that it's rude and it's fat shaming. Like um, the whole mobility scooter magazine. What is it? You know, whatever. I, I can't be perfect all the time. So I'm going to shed light on some of the shaming that I do receive inside of my um, PO box because I feel like I do need to make people aware that this is something that I am dealing with and there's actively more things, more harassment happening in my life that I don't share on here because I don't want people to think I'm lying. And it's like, it, it's just hard. So um, I opened this because it said perishable on the side and I didn't want it to just be sitting with all my other packages right here because like I said, there is a ton. Um, I'll show you guys actually. So all of these, and this is, you know, the pile that I go through slowly and I enjoy it. And it's something that I really enjoy doing with you guys. And I appreciate everything you guys send me, the letters, etc. cetera. Um, but I didn't want this to get like moldy right next to my office desk. So I had to open. And it's like, this is where it's like, there's funny trolling, like lighthearted trolling. And then there's just downright like abuse. <laughs> like this is, it's like sending alcohol to an alcoholic. What or if it just sending, tell us um, the build up? Heroin to a heroin addict. People say all the time, you're not bullied. Why can't you just take constructive criticism? Why can't you just 
um, deal with it. Take the heat or get out of the kitchen. Am I right? That is what I hear all what? the time. Just tell but us. There comes oh a time God. where it's like, you guys, I'm not the fucking problem. Some of you are. And yeah, I'm getting mad because I'm fucking... It's like I try to do something nice. And I know people can say, why are you showing this? It's to show you guys that this is the shit that I deal with outside of the fucking camera. You guys wouldn't even believe the shit that I have to deal with. And it's just part of the problem. So, you know, this is what happens when my YouTube channel seven, eight years ago ends up on a fat shaming website. I'm sorry. And let all me pause this real quick. Before she keeps going on with this, I am curious though. Because those actually look like they might have been kind of expensive. I wonder if someone sent them, like, genuinely wanting her to eat them. Maybe I'm being naive. Tell me if I'm wrong. But that bread looks like it came from a nice bakery, not from just regular bread, you know. And the coffee cake, if you eat a small slice of coffee cake, it's not a big deal. It's just like if you eat a small slice of bread... It's not a big deal. Or use the bread, eat it with something. Like if you made pistachio salad or something and you put it on a nice piece of bakery-made fresh bread, that's there's nothing wrong with that. That's a meal. That's a snack. That's There's nothing wrong with it. So I'm not defending whoever sent her this because I don't know like what their deal is. I don't know if there's some sort of joke behind coffee cake and bread. I don't know. I get out of the loop all the time. So... Feel free to tell me if I'm just way off base, but that definitely doesn't look cheap. It's not something I would send to anyone as a joke, but I say this all the time. I'm not down for spending money, and I'm definitely not going to spend mine on Amber, but maybe they genuinely wanted her to eat it. I don't know why she's so upset. To like, this is what happens. That shaming isn't real. What do you mean it's fat phobia? It's constructive criticism. What is that? You're sending alcohol to an alcoholic. So, I don't agree about the whole alcoholic to an alcoholic, heroin to a heroin addict. As someone who is a food addict, as someone who goes to Overeaters Anonymous, I've gone to uh, some open AA sessions. Um, there is a big difference. Um people can disagree with me. I have my own opinions. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a big difference. We have to eat food to live. You don't have to drink alcohol to live. <laughs> you don't have to take heroin to live. The big difference with food addicts from any other addict is that every day you have to take in what you are addicted to in order to keep living, right? However, you have to abstain from certain things. So I do understand what she's saying about the coffee cake or the bread, but it's definitely not the same. And I don't know, someone sent me coffee cake or bread. Maybe I'd take a little nibble, but probably not. I would be appreciative though. I'd probably take it to a, like a family get together at my grandma's or something. Be like, hey, enjoy this. I hope you have fun sitting next to Trump in hell. See, I was angry and I'm not really like an angry person. To make this. And I wasn't even starting the video. I don't know why it needed to be a political moment. You know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, what I find like so crazy is she just had that level of like venom and like wants these people to go to hell. And then she was like, oh, see, you made me angry. I'm not even an angry person. What? You, that you made a choice and you left that in the video and now you're trying to say you're not an angry person. It's just like when I put out her DMs that she sent me, they're like really mean and she's a bully and then she wants to play nice. It's so, <gasps> it's so weird. But you can't have it both ways. You can't be mean and then be like, oh, but they made me mean. Actually, Amber loves to compare everything to another situation. I am going to compare that in a very controversial way to if someone punches you in the face and then says, well, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. You made me punch you in the face. That's what she just did. There's a very intentional action that she just did. 
which was being angry and saying these people need to go to hell, and then says, <laughs> I'm not like that. Y'all, y'all did this to yourselves. It's the same. It's the same concept. <sighs> okay, let's finish it up. To react that way, um, I actually wanted to stay calm, but it's just like, I felt rage inside of me. I felt oh anger God. and sadness for not only myself, but for other people who have to deal with this as well. And for the future generations, you know, I just hold on hope that one day this won't be an issue, that fat shaming and bullying and harassment will not be a thing in the future. I can only hope. <sighs> we'll see. But it's also like doing things like this. You are literally wasting food. I am not eating this. I'm not opening it. I am not going to give it to anybody because this is given to me in malice. And I threw it in the trash. You, by sending this to me, are the ones wasting food. So if you ever feel the need to do something cruel like this, give that money or give that food to someone who needs it. Do something good with your bad. But I'm no longer going to be showing things like this because it's taking time and space away from the people who send me things who support me. And of course, I will continue spreading awareness about fat phobia. That's what I do because it's very important to me. But you know what? Putting stuff like this in spotlight, there's a time and a place. And for P.O. Box time, that's not the time and that's not the place. Started the day with a surprise breakfast in bed. Lean made these like sausage egg muffins so good. Now she's a beauty blogger. So here's a little before and after I got ready. You know, you know, and I've been hearing you guys. You guys are screaming at me. Take us with you in public. So here's a perfect example of what I normally would not film. Um, we actually went to Home Goods because there's a few things that we needed, and we found all of them except for one. I'll show a haul tomorrow. <laughs> you know, just Amberlynn doing Amberlynn things. Okay. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I seriously Love thought you. I was going to take Bye. a shopping. I color me naive. <laughs> I love her little hiding in the rugs moment. I'm going to have to go do that now. Now I want to go hide in the rugs. Although I never go shopping. So like, mm, maybe I'll go with my grandma next time she goes to home goods. God, y'all, this is t such a side note. My grandma, her house is so perfect and she cleans like all day, every day. And Every, she's like every time I go in there she's swapped something out like something on the wall some piece of furniture or something and it looks like a magazine like a little like a southern living moment you know <sighs> to be like that anyway um okay well I'm not here for people trolling our girl but at the same time I think she was being um a little much and I also feel like, because I just heard her say fat phobia, fat phobic, fat whatever, like eight times in the last few minutes of the video, she's definitely trying to target a, a new audience, if you will, maybe get some of that support, like that time Chantal tried to do that and get some support from the body positivity movement, although ended up failing. Also, if any of us recall back in the day, Amber was fat shaming people in public talking about how some big girl didn't need to be at the buffet or, or was it Cheesecake Factory? Anyway, it's kind of like, girl, you're almost 600 pounds and you're going to say someone else <laughs> shouldn't be in a restaurant. Like that's the most you're doing the most, but I definitely enjoyed this one more than the last video, although I wish we could have had more outside time or like, you know, but she did give us a car moment going to the P.O. box and a home goods moment. Although I wish it wasn't for shopping, you know, like I said this about Alexandra Rodriguez and I know that that's who Amber models a lot of her stuff after. Although someone left me a comment the other day and said it's actually pink sparkles. So I might have to check her out too, but a lot of the stuff she says like the chef's kiss that you hear wifey say and stuff alex says that in like every video ever um not that they couldn't have the same saying but like anyway um 
I, I just don't understand everything's shopping everything's the house and shopping stuff from Amazon stuff from I don't even know P.O. box and that's her whole thing that's her whole thing the makeup like go to a park Play fetch with Twinkie. Walk Twinkie up and down the sidewalk and have a conversation with us while you're filming it. Like, I think, and this could just be me because this is what I want. When I say I want to see Amber go outside, I legitimately want to see her outside of a building. Right? It walking. I don't even care if she's rascaling, you know? Sometimes my mother-in-law wants to get out of the house and she can't really walk that far you know and she's got one of those really cool like collapsible rascals if y'all know you know and they are so cool but uh like this she takes to the airport or things like that right but it collapses down like so small anyway she'll just pop that bad boy out and head up and down the street you know what I mean like <laughs> Amber could do that just be outside go do something that's not in your house that has to do with makeup proving the haters wrong buying crap opening stuff i think that's all she does i can't even say anything else spending money <laughs> and being cringy with wifey um that's all i got for you guys i really enjoyed it and i will See y'all in the next one. Bye.